Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Real Talk podcast. Now, I'm sure that today's guest needs no introduction amongst my subscribers, thanks to his meteoric rise to be one of, if not the most popular car dealer on YouTube. Welcome to the podcast, Matt Goodwin of High Peak Autos and Property. Well, thank you for coming on. Um, no problem. Do you know, when I started this podcast, I thought, you know, Matt's someone that I'd really love to get on. But right, it'll okay. probably come further down the line. I'll prove myself doing the podcast and come to you first. So I was flattered yeah. that you were so quick to say, yeah, you've come on. So. Yeah, right. Okay. How long have you been doing it? Uh, you are like my second guest. Oh, really? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Other than like right. just getting a couple of guys from work to sit down and just chat. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. That, that's it. But right, yeah. So um, yeah. Firstly, congratulations on hitting uh, 300,000 subscribers on yeah, your main no, channel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. How, how does that feel? Really. It's mad, really. It's mad. I, I don't. When I first started, I've, I've said this many times before, but I only started as a hobby, really. So mm. to hit 300 that when I first started and I would look at other channels that were, you know, well established, they'd be on a couple of hundred thousand. I'd be thinking that, you know, that'll never happen. And then all of a sudden, yeah, it just kind of ticks over in the background, doesn't it? And and you're there. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to ask. I mean, does it feel like it just kind of like ticked over or did it feel like it's kind of... Yeah, no, there was no big sort of momentous uh, uh, thing. No big no. momentous occasion. Okay. No, it's just kind of happened. Because I'm always, I'm always busy doing everything. So that kind of... It's, it's good. I'm not complaining. But it's just that that's kind of goes on in the background. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure if, um, you know, you don't think you've had any kind of like major turning points where it suddenly took off or... No. Not really. No. I've never, I've never had a video that's gone uh, viral or anything. They've, there are some with good, with good views, but I've never woken up and had a video gone viral that's kind yeah, of catapulted yeah. me into, um, in, into you know, uh, I don't know what the word is. The no, that's fair enough. I mean, I remember. I think I started. I subscribed to your channel when you're on, I don't know, thirty or forty thousand. Oh, really? Um, right. Okay. And. Because I seem to remember you. Did you do a Q and A at fifty thousand in, in one of your yeah, Range Rovers? Probably. Yeah, 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 probably. So it was and, around about um, that time. Yeah, my brother-in-law get a kick out of it because he's a big fan as well, and he sort of messed oh, right, me. Okay. Have you seen this guy? And I was like, Yeah, I have. Yeah. He's actually, yeah, <laughs> right, and, very good. Uh, yeah. So, um, so where okay, are you based? Just... Then you're based down the south coast, are you? Yeah, we're in Somerset, so on the on the southwest coast. Ah, right. So, okay. Okay. Yeah, a little, very little distance away. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sweating away here. I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but then I was going to ask if you're dealing with the heat, but you're you're better equipped for it anyway. It's, it's been lovely. It's been really nice. I've been out filming today in the uh, in the Peak District. I've just got back to the office, and um, my brother left the air conditioner on, so I've walked in. And it's nice. Oh, really? And cool. <laughs> yeah. I was going to so, say. Yeah. I did wonder if because is this a new office you've sort of leased or yeah, something? Yeah. So I've to... got I've got the garage in the village, uh, yeah. and then five minutes down the road, I've got a um, a little office where we do all the editing. And yeah, yeah. Stuff. Is it like in a shared block, or you just got somewhere? Um, no, it's in, it's in an office building. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd give you a tour, but there's not much to see, to be honest. No, no, that's fair <laughs> enough. No, but I mean, that feels like you know, to me, that feels like quite a, a goal. I'm I'm hoping to do yeah. something similar because I can imagine. Well, you're it's good to keep them separate. It's good. It's very good yeah. to keep them separate because otherwise, I just get roped into um, all. I say all my businesses, all, my several little businesses, all kind yeah, of yeah. they're all intertwined. Um, so they overlap, so it's good to kind of keep them keep them separate, really. Yeah, Otherwise. yeah. I I, I want to do something exactly the same because you know, yeah. I say it must it's ten times must be tenfold for you more. But yeah, if you want to just edit a video and you got headphones in or something, someone's trying to talk to you or you yeah, get exactly. off to yeah. talk to a customer, and I imagine yeah. you must have handfuls of fans just turning up all the time. Do you? Um, it can, it does happen quite quite often. That yeah, quite yeah. quite regularly. I'm I'm not often there at the garage now. Uh, I'm always in and out all day long, but only for like five minutes at a time while I pick something up or drop something off or do something. You know, I'm not there all the time. So um, yeah, but yeah. You know, my colleagues always tell me that I've just missed so and so, or you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to ask you that whether you were really sort of still hands on involved because I couldn't imagine yeah, you could be really yeah. what with what with everything else. But yeah, is that, am, that is that yeah. recent? I, I am still hands on with it, uh, absolutely. But but just not with the sale the sales side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm I'm like I'm much the same, not that I'm anywhere sort of near your level or whatever, yeah. but yeah, it's just yeah. it's, it's really time decided. consuming, isn't it? Yeah, it's time consuming and it was never really the part of the job that I enjoyed anyway. I, I much preferred going out picking up the cars and yeah um doing the rest of it really. So yeah, I mean I, I like the buying more than anything else. It kind of yeah, feeds yeah. into that. Yeah, exactly. 
I got a sort of a, a thing where I, you know, I like buying things. I like spending money, but it has to yeah. be something that's going to be profitable at the end of the day. I, yeah, I'm awful for, um, well, I feel like I don't treat myself. I'm sure I do, but I've always yeah, got to have yeah. some kind of angle. So yes, it's quite interesting yeah, with you doing your uh, properties and things as well, because that's always been my yeah. thing. My house was my, oh, really? my castle right, okay. sort of thing. You know, you can, yeah. you can, and much like yours, I was just watching just, just the other day, your, um, your sort of property rundown on everything you've yeah, done and whatever. Yeah. And it sounds yeah. like a fairly similar story because my parents moved around and you get yeah, used to right, moving okay. around. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You just kind of follow those footsteps, I think. I've never lived in it. Yeah. I never, well, never lived in or moved into a house or even bought myself a house that is, you know, like yeah. perfect, habitable. No, it's, no. It's almost like no. an alien concept. Yeah. Do you think the same? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess we must be the same then, really. You kind of, you, you enjoy the journey then, really, don't you, with it or the process of it or, or mm. and also I think the idea in the back of your mind that you've you've not overpaid for something, you've got some some sort of profit in something, which yeah. you shouldn't necessarily think like that over your own house. But I just think if that's, if that's how you've, if that's how you run your business, you can't not think like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think I do have like a manic fear of thinking that I've wasted yeah. money. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it comes from the moving around and the yeah, you know, whatever yeah. else. But do you think it's it makes well, you um like less sentimental with objects and things? Because I, I got you know friends who say my family are moving out of this house and they could be devastated. That's the house I grew up yeah. in. I can't believe we're going to move. No, I've yeah, I'm not sentimental with with things like that. Not at no. all. No, cars it doesn't, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, cars lately or more recently, yeah, but I mm. never was particularly. Never was no. really. So no. yeah, I guess if it's something that you can justify or you know yeah. afford a bit more, it's a bit easier maybe than yeah yeah. When you now uh... I've just got this bad habit now of not wanting to sell anything that I, that I kind of that I've got grown attached to. Yeah. So so, so the yeah. next property project is going to be a massive warehouse somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I'd, lo I'd love to do that one day. I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so do you think YouTube sort of fills that? Kind of, because obviously you used to, your passion was acting. Is that fair to say? Yeah, um, yeah. it's kind of fallen perfectly, really. And it wasn't planned this at all. But I I love I love business. And I think I've got a bit of a business brain. But I also mm. quite creative and always always have been. I've always quite been quite arty and always good at arts. Yeah. Um, so I like I liked doing the acting and stuff as well. So the, the whole YouTube thing kind of... Um, fits perfectly for me because it's it's a business as well you know yeah. i'm constantly checking the analytics and seeing which videos are working and um i've got to buy cars to 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 create content as well so it is a business but it also enables me to like i really i, I love writing you know writing my scripts and writing down mm. daft jokes and stuff that i've got in my head or yeah, you know, yeah. i enjoy that side of it as well so yeah i was uh, um i was going to ask you that because obviously you do come across as really like well prepared do you actually do you have an encyclopedic knowledge of cars or do you kind of prepare everything so um, you've got sadly i do really i do have yeah. an encyclopedic uh pick, encyclopedic knowledge of cars yeah um j just from doing this job on a daily basis you just well, remember yeah that. yeah i was gonna say actually that i thought you know i was impressed because i don't but then i've only done yeah car sales probably for five years and it sounds like right, okay. you've been doing it almost like yeah. the day dot really haven't you yeah yeah since, and you are... since i was 17 really yeah yeah and then spain and england yeah. and whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So no, I've, just, think... I've got a knack of um remembering uh paint codes and uh just pointless information like that i got an, i got a knack of remembering um number plates usually yeah you know, like... i'm terrible for that i'm uh, i remember plates all the time uh, yeah um yeah yeah you, like you see i uh, you recognize it, you know, why do I think, especially if you see one pull up on your forecourt and yeah, you think yeah. you recognize the number plate and you're like, oh God, what's, yeah. what's happened now? <laughs> like, this is yeah, bad I news. But, um, I know, I know. I know. Usually it's all it's right. It's interesting to speak to other car dealers, really, because we're all in the same uh, in the same boat, really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, I don't think it matters what sort of uh, level you're at, maybe, but, you know, we all yeah. deal with the, the same sort of things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the same types of customers, I'm sure, and... Yeah, that sort of yeah. thing. So, um, but you've handed you well, not handed over, but because you obviously you share your garage with a with another trader. Yeah, kind of just yeah. you've kind of just incorporated to a degree. Do you think? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, mm. yeah. 
Um, Because I imagine the marketing side of things with you doing the YouTube and everything else must be must be a huge advantage. It is. It is. And again, that was that was. It sounds really naive, this really, but I didn't anticipate that at all. It was just. uh, It's just how it's happened. It's just been a byproduct of that. I didn't for one minute really genuinely think that me doing YouTube videos of used car reviews would bring people to the to the door, and it has. Yeah. and I, I really didn't think that that would be the case, but it, it has. Yeah, yeah. So, which is good. It's great. Yeah, it must be amazing. I mean, it must be. Yeah. I was going to almost ask you something like, you know, you must have this feeling of kind of waking up, not smug, but just kind of really satisfied that that's happened because um, I get the feeling that, you know, if you if you like business and things and having yeah. something always going on. Yeah. It's um, smug's probably the wrong I, I, word, but. Yeah, I know what you mean. Incredibly satisfying. Sort of content or something. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. No, not really, because I never I never paid too much attention to that because it's I kind of take each each day as it comes, really. And yeah. I never it's only really when I do a video like like recently when I did a my property journey video or whatever it was called. Um it's only when you when I do something like that and then I then I look at it from the outside and think, oh, I've done quite a bit actually. Cause I in the day-to-day running of things, I'm constantly putting out fires here, there, and everywhere. So I don't really yeah, yeah. look at what I've done. Do you know what I mean? I'm just kind of it's not always a hundred percent positive as it would look from the outside. No, it's not. Definitely not. No, no, no. Yeah. So uh, well, I've in fact someone very flatteringly um was a he runs a podcast and was a watch my channel, I'm sure probably yours as well. But um, yeah. invited me on to his, and he he sort of said, you know, okay. you're so success, so successful, etc. And I thought, well, I don't feel yeah. like that at all. No, I know. Yeah. But in reality, you think, well, actually, yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, perhaps if I said to my younger maybe self, maybe it looks like that or, from the outside, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or, or just in reality, you think, well, actually, yeah, you know, I, sh- I should yeah. be grateful, but yeah, there's a part of you that not can't be, but um, just yeah. lives to do more, I guess. Yeah, exactly. And it's not as if. Yeah, exactly. That's an interesting, uh, interesting comment. Really, it's not as if I've kind of I had a goal in my mind and I've now hit that mm. goal. I don't, yeah. I don't know what my goal was or is. So it's not as if I can wait. You can say you've achieved right, it, it and yeah. yeah, I want to try so, something. No, it's still, just a constant thing, isn't it? It's, yeah, um, I still feel like I'm right at the, at the start of my journey with everything. Really, so do you feel like you ever sort of really pat yourself on the back for what you've done, or just not even really enter your no, mind? No, no. <laughs> I think it's a. Uh, no. It's interesting because obviously trying to research for having you on here, I thought I'll go back yeah. and watch your starting, how you ended up a car dealer and obviously watch your yeah, property. Yeah. And there are definitely yeah. some parallels. Like, you know, you said even yeah. in school you were doing things and yeah, yeah. S- selling things and whatever. And so was I. And yeah. it must just be something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, causes no. it in us. No. I, and I think. I, yeah. You need that though, don't you? You need you need that, that drive, that sort of ambition, that sort of, um, I don't know, entrepreneurial... Um, spirit mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. otherwise it's no good just to have an interest in cars that's just one one of the ingredients yeah so yeah yeah i imagine you would probably get people come to you and ask for advice and i was going to even say you know what would be your advice but there's a, mm-hmm. a level i think of a someone saying oh how would i do what you've done or whatever and you yeah. think well, unless you're obsessed with it and it's yeah. kind of all you think about 24 7 it's just yeah. a non-starter yeah because exactly. I, I almost feel a bit cursed you know yeah do you yeah. feel that? I mean, you're much better than me because you, you obviously take holidays and you've got, uh, yeah. you know, you go go abroad, Spain, obviously yeah. a lot. Yeah. Which I don't do a huge amount. No. Um, but that's, yeah, only, that's to... only been something that I've done for the last couple of years, really. Before that, I would mm. never take a day off ever. Really? Yeah. Um, but so yeah, I might get uh, there then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I just think you can't kind of, you can't teach someone that, can you? Not saying that I even would want to, in a sense. No, no, no. I don't think that, yeah, I don't know whether that's right or wrong, really, but, um, yeah. But it's a, it's a key ingredient in, in, I don't know, even if you're, I don't know, even if you're not particularly good at something, but if you're just yeah. so persistent and you're just dogged about it, yeah, exactly. sometimes it's what it takes, isn't you it? Can't, you, just... you can't fail then, really. You can't fail then. No. That's your attitude fell forward and all those cliches and everything yeah it it is a cliche it is a cliche but there is some truth in that i i spent loads of years feeling uh lost really not knowing what i was going to do or wanted to do or Mm. and i've just fallen into this really through Mm. but i kept but i didn't ever give up or give in i just kept trying loads of different things and eventually it's all kind of worked 
Um, yeah. I would always read because I was always interested in business. I studied business uh, studies at school and stuff in college. Um, and I'd always read other entrepreneurs' uh, autobiographies, like mega successful people. Mm. And that was the one sort of common thing, common theme, you know, in every one of their um, autobiographies, uh, that sort of determination and, um, you know, uh, never giving in and never giving up and constantly mm. they had one business that would go bankrupt then they'd, they'd start again, do something else. And it's just... I could relate to, to a lot of that really, although I hadn't even mm. experienced it, but I just think you need that. Otherwise you won't ever achieve anything. Not just in the car business, but if you work for yourself, you won't ever do anything. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. What do you think is the drive for you in that sense to be that sort of determined? Do you think it's not wanting to have a nine to five? Do you think it's wanting more or, I mean, I would say for me, it's tied into my self-esteem if I'm not, yeah trying to at least trying to achieve something yeah. i will not feel good about myself do you do you have an element of that no, do you give yourself not, a hard time if you get things wrong sometimes oh yeah yeah i give myself a hard time all the time for everything yeah mm. that's just uh, that's one of the uh, flaws with with me really um but yeah i, d I don't know I, I don't know about that i think right, I'm, I don't, I'm getting quite deep here if for um like a therapy session this yeah yeah, um, yeah no i don't i don't know what it is um I, ultimately, I think what I want is freedom. I want the, the freedom to to not have to do anything. But but knowing what I'm like, I don't think I would, even if I had that freedom, I wouldn't take it because I, I like to be yeah. busy. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I remember thinking that I wanted to be, you know, everyone was like, why do you work so hard? I, I say that, otherwise, not really many people ask you this, but, um, you know, perhaps if you turn down socialising or something, which is something yeah, I do yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, and I just think oh, I, I work hard now because I want to retire when I'm 40. I want to do nothing. But if yeah. this, that's what my sort of in my 20s, me yes. would say. Yeah. And I think now yeah. I would just think, you're fooling. You're never going to. Yeah, no. If if you like, we're obviously quite similar on that on that front. And you, you'll you never do, you'll never double negative, isn't it? You'll never do nothing. You'll always, mm. be, you'll always be wanting to do something. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I didn't have something to do, I wouldn't get out of bed. I would just idol. dust yeah. around and I'd just feel awful. Yeah, no. So, um, so I can see as well with you doing property, you've got the YouTube, obviously you've started, yeah. uh, well, taken over at least Raffle Shack now and yeah. uh, you've got yeah. the garage. Yeah. Um, I do you think it just, there's always something going on which keeps the mind, you know, yeah. or just keeps you interested in yeah. there's always something yeah. to do. The, yeah. There might, I might reach a point perhaps in the future where, um, where I'm, I'm bored of being busy all the time, maybe. Maybe maybe I'll reach a point where I want to um, get a hobby or something, or some sort of hobby that I can't... Make a business. Yeah, I can't monetize, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I've done it, I've done it myself. It's, yeah, yeah, it's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't... I can't imagine it ever will come, surely. No. But no. I guess what you're doing is kind of gearing yourself up to taking a backseat on things you can dip in and out as much as you want and that would be that would be the ideal thing that would be the ideal yeah. thing yeah. yeah yeah but the trouble is a lot of well everything that i do revolves around me really if i'm not there to do stuff it doesn't really the garage is slightly different because i've got colleagues there that, that, that know they, what they're doing they're with that and, and deal with stuff for me um but everything else is kind of like my youtube i couldn't employ somebody to do a video for me it's it, i've got to do mm. it myself you know what i mean yeah so, yeah yeah no i get that do you have, is that the right thinking you've got your brother sort of in, in on board and everything now as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And another colleague as well. Oh, so really? Two, there are two now in the office. Doing doing, doing editing, editing and things. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which which is great because it saves me doing the editing, which I, I, I never was good at and I hated doing it. It consumed so much of my free time. Yeah. Um, but they get through, because there are two of them, they get through videos quickly. So I've got to constantly keep feeding them with more footage. So Yeah, to, um, in order for not... solve solved one problem but created another. So... Yeah, and occasion it must be hard, especially if you're pumping out the, to keep coming up with what you're what you're gonna yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, and I don't want it to get repetitive because I enjoy doing what I what I do, and I hope that everyone else does as well. I just don't want to hit a point where people think, "Oh, I've seen I've seen this kind of thing before," or "You've mm. you've said that before," or do you know what I mean? Yeah. So no, but I mean, it must be mind blowing to have people working to help you do that from what started out, like you say, as a yeah. as a hobby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Incredible. It's good, but when you look back at it now, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't. I can assure you, it wasn't planned. It was just an accident. No, no, no. I mean, it, I mean, if it was, then it would be. It probably, you know, 
mm. just as if not more impressive really you cause... know what you know the daft thing is the, the silly thing is using my sort of business brain if i'd have thought that it would lead to this i could have i could be where i'm at now three years earlier if mm. i would have thought right on day one i'll i'll invest some money into the, the whole youtube thing and i'll get an editor and i'll the quality would have been better but it's all part of the part of the journey i guess isn't it part of people like to see things grow out, as well up. don't they and organically yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah yeah um yeah i guess yeah looking back because i remember um in your sort of q a at 50 someone must have said would it come yeah. a time where you'll take over doing youtube versus car sales yeah like, yeah oh i'd quite like to but you know yeah that sort of thing to look back um, must be when when i look back now i used to, i i don't i don't hate it so much anymore but i used to hate the car business mm. it just used to it, it just wore me down just because mm. i was there every single every single day for years and years and years and it just completely wore me down i lost interest with it and i was miserable and and everything else um whereas now i'm not there as much i don't hate it i don't resent it anymore so mm. i quite enjoy uh you know going yeah. in and out Five yeah. minutes. I'm still out doing stuff. I'm still out being, you know, being busy and productive every single day. But I don't, I don't resent it anymore because I feel like no. I'm in control of it now. Not it's con in in control of me. Do you know what I mean? No, no. I'm glad you said that because so, I was going to ask you that because you did used to kind of say, you know, like I, yeah, not hate the job. Well, well, well I guess essentially hate the job sometimes. Yeah, you know, it just yeah, yeah. But I did, I did. I, guess I was you... an all time low with it. Really, I just hated it. Yeah, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see an exit. Yeah. Um, whereas now I kind of uh, my time management's better a little bit, really. So I don't I don't resent it. Yeah. No, so that's that, uh, no. Again, interesting. But, but I also, I, don't, I wouldn't. I like the variety of it. To be honest, I wouldn't want to just do YouTube every single day because I'd be bored of the sound of my own voice as well. Yeah, hundred percent. So no, I, I like doing that. two or three videos a week. I wouldn't want to do six. No, again, and then it takes something which we probably still enjoy to pushing it to a point where it's very hard to do yeah, enjoy anymore. Exactly, exactly. And then once you've probably once you've lost the interest and you've kind of killed it off. Yeah. Well, for like I know for me that where I've taken hobbies and things before and done business ideas, yeah. when it gets it's great fun while it's growing and everything's but when it gets to a yeah. certain point you think I'm sick of this, it's yeah. dead forever. It's dead forever. So yeah. for me, that's my personal. Yeah. It's just like I've killed it off completely. I don't want to do it again. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do that, you know. It's, no, um, no, I know. I know. I know. So, it's so. like it's a bit like an addiction, really, that isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, especially with uh, like YouTube stuff, you know. I mean, yeah. I'm probably not, you know, I'll get say ten thousand views and it'll blow my mind because yeah. I'm at that yeah, level yeah. where it's just like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. It's almost like a drug, isn't it? You're like, well, yeah. let's do another one. Let's yeah, do another one that's like that. You know, well, that yeah, one didn't no, do as exactly. well as the last one. It's much yeah, like car sales, isn't it? You buy it is. It a is. Fiat 500. It sells yeah. like that. Great profit. Yeah. You buy another one. No one wants it. Exactly. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You can't is let there... that swallow you up. Really, you just gotta. You just gotta keep keep doing what you're doing. I guess. Um, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's partly the beauty of having multiple you know pots going at the same time yeah, that yeah if that's not you know demanding you as much as you know kind of normally would you can right yeah. i'll invest my time into this and that and yeah that's it that's it. um yeah so building quite the the property empire now um again through no real intention really i just i i quite like it i've yeah. got no goal with that it's not like i think right i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to 20 houses or you know i haven't really got a goal with that it's just with everyone that i do and complete then i get a little bit of passive income which makes my life easier so there's no kind of real negative there right now i just kind of like the whole process hmm. and it's quite it's quite rewarding um both from a financial point of view and satisfaction you know, just just satisfaction of doing it yeah 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 you've, I'll, um... I'll, again i'll keep doing that until i get bored with it basically hmm. i you know you, you've been inspired me slightly because i feel like i should make more of an effort to i've I've had sort of houses before and like i say everything yeah. i've bought i've done to renovate and yeah um frankly if anyone's ever sort of is thinking oh, i want to get ahead of head life or how do i you know have you done yeah. what you've done that sort of thing it's, i just feel like yeah. the first thing is as soon as you can get on the property ladder yeah you've got to the better you got to, yeah i know like it's a sort of um 
modern day sort of all these coaches you see on Instagram, which I get the feeling they're the type of people that yeah. you hate because they're the type of people yes. I hate. Yes. That will say, <laughs> don't do this. You don't need a house. It's a, it's a liability. Yeah. You need whatever. Yeah, I just think I cars yeah, sales I is fine, but it's never, yeah. I don't think it would ever make me rich. No, but no. I've done very well out of houses that I've had yeah. while my business has been paying the mortgage. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. then it's tax free. Yeah, and yeah. you know, um, so I just think always is just. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know if you agree because I, I don't know if sort of getting your first property and then seeing some profit out of it kind of turbocharged things for you or. Um, <clears throat> I think it's just the knowledge of me knowing that I've got some security, really. Mm. Because you, you'll know what it's like with it with the car business. You'll have a really good month, and then the next month they'll be quiet, or you'll you'll go backwards slightly, or break even, or something. And then you you just think, I don't want to live my life like that for the rest of my life, constantly yeah. waiting for the next deal. Or the, you know, do you know what I mean? The next, next person to phone up and say they want to return the car, or yeah, it, it used yeah. to drive me mad. So I, all I wanted to do really was um, just diversify a little bit, so I had a bit more security, so I wasn't solely reliant on car sales. Yeah. So property is a massive help for that. Um, mm. So yeah, it's kind of worked. It's just, it, all I've done really is to just kind of, um, uh, you know, feathered my own nest basically with other things. Yeah. So, But I think what's, you know, refreshing is you're not saying this is what you should do. This is no. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to be one of those people. Yeah, I don't want to be one of those people. So, saying saying you're an expert sort of thing, which is yeah. Uh, no, I'm um, always, especially with the property stuff, because I'm really not. I'm I'm a bit of a novice with that. I'm just quite passionate about it, and I enjoy doing it. Mm. And I'm always conscious when I do a video with the property. I know I can. I have enough knowledge with cars to to fill a ten minute video, but with the property yeah. side of things, I think I don't really know enough about that to start dishing out advice to people so yeah talk about what's worked for me and just leave it at that because i don't want to start saying you should do this you should do that because we're all different yeah. oh yeah well it's like telling someone this is the car you should buy you know they're, yeah you know, they're forever gonna yeah. hold it against you but yeah yeah that's yeah it. it's um yeah well i'm different see because i don't i probably know more about houses and things than i do about cars but now i've ended up yeah you know selling right. cars and yeah uh, how have you ended we, up doing that uh well, I'm a, I'm a plumber by trade, believe it or not. So originally right, okay. my plan, you know, when I was leaving school and being a delinquent and not really going in, I thought, yeah. oh, I'll, I'll do plumbing I'll, and I'll, I'll eventually do properties and then must maybe get an electrician on board and we'll set yeah, up, you know, yeah. Yeah. that whole kind of wanting all the, the businesses to to mash in with each other and serve yeah. each other, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but I just did plumbing for 10 years, ended up hating it. Right. Um, didn't really like being crammed in underneath a bath in a tight little space yeah. working on things. I thought, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. you know, my knees were already starting to like pop when I was trying yeah. to hang a radio. And I thought, I don't really no. want to do this. And I mean, in the meantime, I'd set up other businesses and whatever. I always had these kind of ambitions of doing something else. Um, yeah. And then, again, another hobby was motorbikes. I'm, I used to be completely yeah. obsessed with motorbikes. I still like them, watching the TT, yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, um, right, right. And... Um, would start selling bikes and I got this traders yeah. policy that allowed me to sell bikes and do test yeah, rides right. with people and it did cars yeah. as well and it just suddenly dawned on me that cars were a lot yeah. more desirable at least in our area you know yeah. than more people unless you're in London no one's buying a motorbike for necessity you know to travel yes, exactly yeah. everyone needs a car yeah. yeah um and it's still as you say the creative side it kind of fed into my creative side because i'd say like you know you can't you can, it's great you can fit a boiler into the day and i can make good money out of it yeah but yeah. i can't drive it home at the end of the day and enjoy it in the meantime yes. you know it's, yeah yeah it doesn't also feed that yeah. creative side and i always had this kind of idea that i would do youtube at some point but i guess it's yeah yeah making that step and having the confidence yeah. and that sort of yeah. thing um thinking that people will actually be interested and want to watch yeah yeah um, yeah what uh, I should I should ask really, what sort of made you decide to to start with the YouTube of? Uh... Um, oh, good question, really. I, I don't. I've always been into cars. I've always loved cars. Always watched Top Gear and Wheeler Dealers and all that sort of stuff. But I genuinely didn't watch an awful lot of YouTube. I, I would only go on YouTube to how to remove the radio on a uh, Ford KA 2000. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd, I'd go on it and yeah. I'm just, I'd just look at how-to videos. I would never, I didn't think that it was a platform for people to create content. Uh, entertainment you know, entertainment sort of content, yeah. yeah. 
Never I, that never crossed my mind. And looking back now, I really wish I wish I'd have done this five years sooner because well, I don't, everything happens for a reason, doesn't it? But I would I would have jumped into it, um, you know, um, much much sooner. Yeah. I think I was on there looking at because I I would I would start looking at. Or I'd be offered a car, something older, like the stuff that I like, like modern classic sort of stuff. I'd be offered something. Then I'd go on to YouTube and try and see a video of it because I'd be obsessed because it's coming on Monday and I want to know what it's like. Yeah, exactly. And I'd be end up watching, I'd end up watching like an old Top Gear from 20 years ago when it was brand new or an old Fifth Gear or something. Then I'd be thinking, well, there's nothing out there for used cars. There's no used car review. I can't see what it's like today. Um and then I think I stumbled on like Doug DeMuro's videos and um, Tyler Hoover's videos in the States, uh, seen through glass in, in the UK, kind of stumbled on their videos. And, and then I thought, hang on a minute, they're only like, they're my age. Why couldn't I just do that? And that's how it all started. Then yeah. I went out, uh, went to Jessup's and bought a camera and a mic and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's history. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, partly the world can thank or blame you for me sort of, starting youtube again because again i did youtube right, okay. many years ago for for another like around yeah. business um used to be into like shooting sports and things like that you know, oh, right, okay. yeah, yeah. or whatever so yeah. um and i hadn't done anything for 10 years or whatever but i think it was watching your videos and thinking here's someone who's down to earth sensible yeah and not over the top flamboyant and being a character yeah. for the sake of it yeah yeah because that drives me mad and i just think well it doesn't drive me mad i can i can appreciate it yeah in its place but that just wouldn't be me it just wouldn't be no, genuinely no. me so you know if I, if I if it's okay for matt to go on there and moan about yeah. mechanics and things like, well that yes that resonates yeah. with me you know i can yeah, get pretty yeah, grumpy yeah. about that sort of stuff yeah so, yeah um, yeah yeah congratulations yeah. No, that's good that's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's good um are there any cars you uh you absolutely won't sell I know you're not so much involved these days, so it's probably not such an. Oh, issue, you mean but... you mean from a retail point of view? Yeah. Or just over the years, things that you've just. There, the kind of car that I sell are just kind of your average, your average kind of cars. Mm. Apart from the odd thing that might that might be sort of very interesting, the majority of the stuff that I sell is from three grand to 15 grand it's just your average sort of stuff just only because i know that the market's there always for that sort of thing um uh not really not really i've had a no. few i've had a few issues with car with various makes and models of, of cars over the years and i've thought right i'm never going to buy another one of those then i'll get offered one at the right money that's nice and with the right history and think oh I'll go on then they can't all mm. be bad and then it, and then it's okay yeah so yeah. Not necessarily. I can't think of any off the top of my head, really. No, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm probably no. much the same, but I don't think I'd ever buy another smart roadster. Then when you when you sometimes yeah. buy things like I want to try it, yeah, yeah, and then you regret yeah. it because you ignore yeah. that everyone warning you that the roof leaks non-stop and whatever. Yes, because yeah. you might be able to yeah. put up with it because it's not you know maybe I only spent a thousand pounds on it. Yeah, and unfortunately, you've got to really... sell it to someone and yeah, yeah. The the frustrating thing with cars are they've all got their issues, haven't they? So. Straight away when you mentioned that, I'm thinking like a VW EOS or something with the roof leaks and all that sort of stuff. There are loads of cars with with issues, and it, yeah. a, lot, a lot of them share those same issues, don't they? Um, yeah, it, yeah, that's true. It's how you get your knowledge, I guess. For when when I, uh, you know, when I go to do a video that I've, I've just bought this for five hundred pounds, whatever, I go in there and I think, right, I need to check for the boot leak because I know the boot leaks on those, or it's just that kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, I Sadly, guess people I've been there and, and and experienced it, so I know all this stuff. I've not read it off the internet. No, that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I guess what people appreciate though, isn't it? They can watch it and yeah, they get, yeah, they get yeah. to share your experience and yeah, yeah, and whatever else. Yeah. Um, I'm conscious. I don't want to keep you too long. Have you got? Uh, yeah, no, that's right. No, uh, I right. um, I don't blame you for because obviously we were going to do this last night. Yes, but you you were probably quite busy. Yes. And you're running yes. around in the Very Bentley Bentayga, so I don't really know. <laughs> How's that come about? Is that a press car or something? Yeah, it was Bentley. Bentley Manchester uh, sent me a message to see if I wanted to borrow some of the cars, basically, just to film with. You must so. hate your life. <laughs> <laughs> These are the um, opportunities. that. That's the other thing with YouTube. That's the great thing about YouTube. And I, uh, another reason I wish I'd done it years ago, the doors that have opened because of YouTube, it's mm. unbelievable. 
just like different yeah. opportunities, things like this. I'd never have a chat. If I'd have gone there on day one, five years ago, and knocked on the door and said, oh, can I borrow a brand new um, Bentayga for, do you know what I mean? Sorry, who are you? Why? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, why exactly. would we do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've always just kind of quietly worked away in the background and then all of a sudden people just come to you then, don't they? I guess that's just, well, hopefully at some point <laughs> that sounded a bit arrogant Bentley, then, if you're honestly, listening i don't i don't go and ask for favors i just keep doing my own thing in the background and then no that's it i mean over the, it, over it, the last it maybe wouldn't two happen years. if you kept going and asking you know would you yeah, let me have one yeah. this year and yeah yeah i yeah, think yeah. it um probably doesn't give yeah. the right message does it especially no. if a company like bentley or whatever yeah 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 so uh yeah well it could be worse no apologies it? for that i'd forgotten that I'd, uh i'd had other plans it's fine. It's no, honestly, it's fine. I know exactly what it's like. And um, yeah, there's always something, isn't there? You know, yeah, I know. I always I try know. to carve a bit of time out for something, which is why I'm impressed. Yeah. You know, you managed to keep, um, you know, your schedule of posting videos. Do you feel that I guess it helps so much that you got the, the you know, people helping you out now? But do you still feel the pressure of, yeah. God, that needs to be out Friday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Always. Yeah. And especially, to be honest, um, with when the, when the videos are sponsored, because there are certain deadlines that you got to meet, uh, you got to meet. That's that's the added pressure. Um, yeah. So yeah, this month, for example, I've got a couple that I'm working with. One needs it doing by the 18th, so I've got to. Do you know what I mean? I've, uh, there are different yeah. pressures. There. It's not bad. It's every job has its pressures, doesn't it? So it's just something else to to bear in mind. Yeah, so, uh, absolutely. I would have loved to have asked you about some of your sponsors and how, even if it was off camera, but. Yeah. Um, you know, because it because it must be you know the cherry on well, the icing. That, it must... That's the thing. When when I when I started, I didn't have any. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know any. Other, I still don't really know any other YouTubers as such. I don't. You know, mm. um, most of the, most of my colleagues are in the forties, fifties, and sixties. It yeah. was just me having to go with YouTube. I, so I didn't have anyone to bounce ideas off or or double check. Is this? Is that? Is that worth that, or am I underselling myself, mm. or am I asking too mm. much? Or, do you know what I mean? I've had to kind of find my own way with with it all, really. This is your next venture, Matt. You should start so, the, you know, kind of motor vlogger school because obviously you do yeah. your uh, <laughs> motor trade uh, academy yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, you know yeah. how much you should get for a sponsorship because even you know I don't know. Sometimes people say, "Would you work with us? Would you do this?" And how much would it yeah. be? I'm like. Yeah, well, I yeah. Know, like, I, I yeah. Don't, how would you know? It, you know, we're not from no. this world. Are we? you, so, the last thing you want to do is go in and say, "Yeah, give me X amount," yeah. and then be like, "Yeah, no, you're just you're small yeah. fry. You're not going to have." Yeah, that. yeah, I know, I know. Um, I know. Tricky yeah. until you you get. Yeah. Do you do you have like a a manager or anything for that sort of thing? Because I know some people obviously no. do, but some do. I, I would uh, not. that I'm trying to give you advice for anything, but I don't, I would be wary of that because some just want to take ten percent of your of of mm. all your, your revenue and stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, in exchange for that, they will negotiate contracts and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, yeah. I'm a bit too controlling for that. I would rather do it myself. Yeah, that's right. So, I'm, no, I'm, I just, I'm much the same as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you want to know what's happening and deal direct rather than knowing someone's yeah. working something yeah. out. But don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I have huge aspirations with YouTube. I really enjoy it, you know, at the moment yeah. and that sort of thing, doing that. So it's just yeah. good fun. And again, yeah. being able to have yeah. chats like this is amazing. It wouldn't have happened if I... Yeah hadn't done no exactly that. yeah exactly yeah yeah youtube sort of stuff i would just yeah. I, it's the same for me i would just i would just do it until you don't enjoy it anymore basically it's <laughs> yeah it's that. yeah i just the problem is i'm one of those awful personalities that would just i would probably put out a video every day for a month and then just never yeah. do it ever again so yeah i try and yeah. keep myself under control yeah yeah but um, when, when i first started i would i would do it i would upload videos really sort of um you know sporadically really I'd, I'd do one and then i wouldn't do another one for three weeks or mm. um now at least i've got into a routine and a rhythm where i know i've got to i, I do three a week now monday wednesday friday um, yeah so, so my weekends are, are busy filming yeah. today i've been filming there's a there's a sort of a back catalog now of videos so i can have a week off yeah not that i will, <laughs> not that I will but I have a week <laughs> off in theory yeah and then the the uploads still uh still remain well it time. also takes the pressure off to a degree as well i guess yeah you'd hope <laughs> yeah um are there um sort of any big plans on the horizon do you plan to you know high peak autos south or something or uh you know, you, oh you mean like car car dealership wise well, you mean? anything anything i just yeah. i can imagine you like your in your property video you said i've got you know my kind of 
what I've got now and I want to take a back seat, but yeah, kind of reading between the lines and knowing potentially what your personality type may be like. Yeah. If yeah. it's anything like mine, it's just like, what next? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just, I never wanted to get into a, a situation or a position of, I sort of touched on this earlier, where I put all my eggs into one basket and then mm. I, I didn't want to put every penny that I had into, or I wouldn't want to now. I did, I did previously because I didn't have anything else. Um, I wouldn't want to put every penny that I had into the into my car business. No. Just in case it all falls. Because with this job, this is why, I mean, I'm not asking for sympathy or, or nobody's going to give a car dealer sympathy, but I could wake up tomorrow and the government have banned the sale of petrol cars or diesel cars or they've suddenly hiked the tax. So then all of a sudden my business is finished. Yeah. So we've seen this happen before multiple times with the clean air zone in Manchester and all of a sudden... Um, there's there are um there's a rumor that that's going to start up again perhaps and then i'll go into work tomorrow and nobody wants my the four pickup trucks that i've got because they don't make, meet these new euro six yeah, you know, yeah. it's all that sort of stuff i don't want to be at the whim of the government so i don't want to put all my eggs into that basket so it's it's just all i'm doing basically is spreading my bets once i've once i'm kind of comfortable i guess then i would look into perhaps setting up another a franchise of hype because of somewhere else perhaps mm. it's not it's not something i've thought about i'm not that no it's not it's not yeah you never know i wouldn't i wouldn't rule it out i'm just uh i would just make sure that i'm not investing every last penny i've got into something like that that i can't really control no absolutely no i mean they've, they've just introduced the um bristol i guess it's you les yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right by us. So, but it, I mean, I've, I've kind of tried to make it work in our favor because we're, we're able to buy quite a lot of diesel cars yeah, competitively yeah. because the people yeah. in our area don't care. They, as long as they don't no. want to go to Bristol, you know, they can save yeah. themselves nine pounds a day and get a, a decent yeah. car that's cheap to run. But yes, yeah. Yeah, like you say, there's, there's always, there's always a knee jerk happen. reaction, isn't there, with that? There's always a knee jerk reaction. So, straight away, whenever something hits the news, we might have a week or two of not selling that particular kind of thing. Um, but then afterwards, it kind of it, it settles, settles down. Yeah, everyone gets over yeah. the hysteria, and it's it's out of the yeah. daily mail front page for a little while. Yeah, exactly, just, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Old news. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I had a whole list of things here, and I feel like we've just rattled through stuff really quickly. <laughs> okay. Um, I was going to ask if um, talking about you know different things, not wanting to put your eggs in all all in one basket. Yeah. Again, I was asked questions about things on when I went on a podcast and I wondered mm. if you had a similar type of thing where um I've got this like I don't know if you call it a toxic trait but say mm. say like I struggle to eat healthy at work and I put loads of weight on not probably yeah. you have you you know you're yeah. much I'm awful for eating um yeah and I'll be like oh yeah I'd love to have one of those like meal prep people that just make the meals for you but yeah. it's just too expensive yeah. but yeah what about if I set up a business yeah that did that <laughs> And yeah, by, it makes money, and it wouldn't cost me anything, and whatever. It's yeah. just I just get carried away. Yeah, with yeah. um, just going straight into, I'll I'll do that in some way. I'll make that a business. Yeah, I don't know if you're you have those yeah. kind of. I guess it's again the same entrepreneurial. Yeah, I am to a certain extent, but at the moment, or for, certainly for the last three years, I'm just too busy to even think about something else, yeah. which is good. Otherwise, I'd be chasing every last little idea. I think. Yeah. No, I think yeah, I agree, and I, I yeah, I have these ideas. Oh, having having day. yeah, having any spare time in your hands, I think for me anyway, and it sounds like the same for you is is dangerous really because then you start to think about doing something else, or you know, before mm. you know it, you set up another business doing something else. Yeah, and then then it just it detracts from what you're already doing. Yeah, probably, and yeah, yeah. It's yeah. um that's yeah, the thing, so isn't it? That that's a that's sort of a good business lesson, really. I think rather than rather than take on too much i think you've got to be try and be good at what you've got first before you try and do something else i'll, I'll make this a clip and i'll play it back to one of the lads who works for me and he right. wants um <laughs> his business idea no offense jordan is yeah. basically you know a shop out of fast and furious or something it does window wrapping it or you know yeah. tinting it does sound system it does all the cool stuff yeah. you know yeah wheels and all that sort of stuff and he's like yeah yeah but I'm, maybe i'll need your advice when it comes to getting a unit and whatever and i said yeah. well you won't be getting a unit you, you know just yeah. do one thing and be good at it yeah yeah and then, uh, yeah then you add in you know i think yeah. there's a some people are kind of adverse to the idea of um building something they kind of want to just yeah go, right, this yeah. is my idea and yeah i know i know and that's not how it works in the real world is it 
No. And I think even if you had, um, <clears throat> sometimes I think not having not having the money to start with is a really good thing because if you had a load of money and a load of investment on day one, you just burn through it because yeah. you'd, uh, for example, with that that idea there that you mentioned of Jordan's, if he had a hundred grand or a quarter of a million quid to invest in that, he'd go he'd go in uh, you know all guns blazing with with his full investment and it'd be better to just just do window tinting first for for a year and get yourself yeah. good at that and then then introduce vehicle wrapping then introduce do you know what i mean yeah yeah exactly so think, like you say I yeah you'd have all the equipment exactly. zero cash flow and just yeah. desperate for people to come and exactly. use your services yeah. but you haven't proven yourself so yeah exactly exactly um yeah so i find that's like a really there's a lot to be thing. said for that really because it at no point when I started did I, have, did I have enough money really to do anything that I wanted to do. So I've had mm. to start with nothing and just kind of build it slowly. Um, but looking back now, I think that's the best way to do it really, as frustrating as it was at the time. It teaches you a lot of lessons, doesn't it? If you're selling yeah, cars yeah. that are just, you know, fit for the scrap heap almost, but yeah. you've 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 taken care of them, fixed them up, yeah. put an MT, make sure it's safe, you know, but yeah. Um, it's it's beyond its intended original life, let's say. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, then you've got to sell it to people whose expectations might not be the most yeah, aligned yeah. with reality. Yeah. Um, and how to deal with those sort of people and understanding perhaps yeah. I need to avoid that. Maybe I need to avoid. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. In the end, it's going to cost me, or you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, going straight in with, like, say, hundred thousand pound budget and. 10, yeah. 10 000 pound cars in your forecourt. I don't think you'd ever get anywhere, would you? No, no, no. It's, no. Um, I think I've got it's cars in the forecourt that are my entire budget, you know. People, I think, uh, there's still this sort of um, idea that, that car dealers have got loads of money and stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. So you often see people, or I've heard of people sort of directly, actually, as well, um, that have been left 100 grand or a couple hundred grand inheritance or something or they've sold a house or, and they think right i'm gonna i'm gonna be a car dealer it's not that easy really you're better off learning learning the, the basics and learning the ropes with with no money really that's the best yeah. thing to do so if you start off with 100 grand you will just burn through it you'll you'll buy you'll cherry pick i i would have done the same thing you'd, you'd cherry pick the the 10 cars that you think are great news just because you like them doesn't mean that everyone else likes them they'll be stuck there and then you'll be selling them for money back and there's no business there no and yeah nine times out of ten the things that you like the most are not the things to buy are they no 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 i've fallen into the trap now and i've had to rein myself back in and it's lazy it was a, just laziness is thinking yeah i'm sure you found like you know the algorithm tells you doesn't it you can put up a car about uh, put up a video let's say let's say you put up a video about your yeah. bentayga yeah and i mean for you you it would perform really well but for me it probably wouldn't as much as yeah or let's say it probably that's not fair because it's a, it's a new car but Say I put up about I had a Porsche 911 for a while. I put that yeah. up, might not get yeah. very many views, and then yeah. I'd be like, "Oh, look at this like uh, MOT failure that I bought for 100 yeah, quid, yeah. <laughs> and it's rusted to hell." And everyone's like, "Yeah, yeah. It, views yeah. go through the roof." The algorithm tells yeah. you that's kind of what people want to see. So I'm like, "Let me just buy the biggest pile yeah. of shit I can find because <laughs> it'll make a great video." Yeah. And then I'm just like, oh, yeah, great." Yeah. Like, I made 30 quid out of ad revenue yeah. and now I've got this <laughs> yeah. absolute nail to get yeah, rid of. Yeah, I know. You know, the, inter the interesting thing is I would see other YouTubers do this kind of stuff, like like Tyler Hoover in America, who, who when I started had, I don't know, half a million uh, subscribers or whatever. Mm -hmm. I would see him do the same thing. So then, I don't know, maybe three or four years ago, for example, I bought um, an M3 that needed a load of work. I spent too much on it. Did three or four videos with it, mm -hmm. um, documenting its its you know what it was like at the start towards yeah the restoration and everything yeah the yeah. full the full project um and that earned me no money in in ad revenue none because it mm. nobody really cared it just didn't just didn't take no. off it's, so I don't, there must be some people who yeah there must be some people who love that but maybe it's just not your audience and yeah. i thought the same thing yeah. i think if you know if you were to start doing things that other youtubers are really great at perhaps you bought yeah. a car from copart and started yeah you know, yeah. it just yeah. wouldn't probably do as well as you'd hope it would. That's not yeah, what your audience is there to yeah, see. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. So, so um, that that's that's one thing I think to say is like a content creator, don't try and chase views really, but you can't help yourself. But you've got to not do that. Just do your own thing. Yeah, 
yeah well, I'm, I'm slowly learning otherwise you'll, you'll fry your own brain you know worrying about what's going to work and what what doesn't yeah work. or end up like me with like 10 cars that you know are never going to pass an mot and <laughs> you're just like what am i gonna why have i done this it's not yeah, yeah. any logical yeah. sense whatsoever no um no. but yeah i think it was just just laziness isn't it you can do um obviously i think you you know or at least have met um joel he's really good at he makes lots of different yeah videos yeah. from uh from one car or whatever but yeah i guess yeah, you're a bit spoiled yeah. as a car dealer there's loads of different cars there or you could buy that's the thing isn't it yeah so um the, the yeah, other thing when I, when I first started or, or had the idea of youtube any sort of or every uh uk youtuber that had a huge uh, number of followers um it would be the same kind of cycle they'd buy a supercar then that would be the first episode next episode what color shall i wrap it third episode mm. what, what wheel shall i put on it fourth episode take it down to monaco and then sell it and then the same cycle again and i just thought i got bored of watching that after a couple yeah, yeah. so um and, and they a lot of them i think kind of all followed that same rhythm or cycle thinking mm. that i guess there are work, maybe, trends maybe to a degree yeah. yeah yeah i mean yeah I'd, I'd i mean i'd love to have you know buy some old aston or something fix it up and drive yeah. it and do all that sort of stuff but yeah a, I feel a prat in it. I, for some reason, yeah. I just feel complete imposter in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just don't think. Yeah, I just, again, I, I feel like I'd be probably out it because I'm not that, yeah. you know, no, I know that what you mean. knowledgeable. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, it seems yeah. I have to come to, to explain people because you're, I guess, not lucky because it's a, it's a, it's just the result of having been in the business yeah. for so long. But yeah. people say, oh, that's, you know, you got that fact wrong there or whatever. You don't seem to know about this. Yeah. You should know because you're a salesman. And I tend to think, well, yeah. it's, it's business. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not, exactly. I'm not no. the Wolf of Wall Street, but you know, you no. don't have to know everything about it to sell it. You know, it's, no, um, no, exactly, exactly. But uh, I guess you do yeah, if you want to be I'd... selling it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I'd get this at work a lot when I when I would be out there, kind of, uh, you know, customer facing. I guess uh, mm -hmm. all the time, I'd have I don't know thirty cars or forty cars in stock, one of every different brand and you know make and model, um, and somebody would ask you about a specific car. Yeah. You, you don't know you can't know can you because if you work for a main dealer they they sell six different models and you have to know them because they send you on courses and stuff whereas in the used car job it's it's completely different you well, can't it's not just that it's just like what's the mileage on that one you think yeah it's yeah, the, yeah you know yeah. the 15th car that's come through yeah. this week <laughs> i i you know my memory's pretty good for certain things but yeah um, yeah yeah you can't can't memorize no. it all can you no. no um i was curious to ask you because you said um obviously you never really used to watch a lot of YouTube, and hmm. do you, I take it you probably still don't. Because I, I mean, I don't. It sounds really bad, only because I don't have much time. Yeah, I only exactly. watch something now if if I'm really interested in the car, hmm. um, in particular. Or I'm got, and still trying to fix something or some weird yeah. problem with a car that. Yeah, yeah. That usually someone in Poland is fixing yeah. and you, you can't yeah, understand yeah, the language yeah. but you've got to figure it out somehow yeah yeah but um yeah no i'm it's either that or if i've got an hour or two free which which rarely happens but occasionally if i'm at an airport or a, you know yeah it's like great that. in the sense that you've got if you do you can find something that you want to watch so it's great for that but um yeah yeah in a sense i'm not there's, there's so much on there isn't it that, that's the that always blows my mind as well because there's there's so much out there there's people creating videos every single minute of every day yeah um there's an awful lot to get through isn't there yeah so it, yeah usually plenty of, as, as the consumer it gives you plenty of choice yeah but like you just say if you watch someone who does stuff and it's kind of is just repetitive it does, you can really enjoy it but after a while it's yeah i yeah. guess you've got got to sort of yeah evolve in a sense don't they but yeah i guess yeah. um yeah i was just curious because i you know don't i enjoy making youtube videos and yeah. whatever but and i do i do enjoy watching youtube videos when there's yeah. time or whatever but you know usually the other half wants to put something on tv and i'm yeah, scrolling yeah. the auctions on my phone or something yeah yeah um yeah, she's, she yeah. doesn't want to watch something about you know yeah. cars or whatever so um, yeah yeah um yeah that's, that's the other thing it is a full the car the car business is a full-time job anyway even when you're at when you're at home you'll be replying to emails or, or bidding on something or you know trying to value something or whatever yeah yeah i used to have a um kind of an import business and um 
I would just work from home, just box stuff up at home long before like Amazon FBA or whatever yeah. it is these days. Yeah. Um, right. would just bulk import stuff from China that uh, some of, some of which I designed, it was all, um, yeah. Like torches and things like that. Right. Okay. And, um, yeah, people will be like, oh, yeah, but you don't really work that long, you know, and you work at home, you literally roll out of bed and start and you yeah, think, yeah. if I'm on the toilet, yeah. I'm doing an email. Yes, yeah. You know, <laughs> you might seem like I'm at home and I'm not really yeah, doing no, much, no. but actually it's just... That can be worse, though, can't it? It's savage. I, it's, I think it's I, savage sometimes, but... I couldn't have a, a nine-to-five job because I, I'm just I'm just not that way inclined. I'm just, I've always done my own thing and I, I just couldn't, couldn't do that. But I admire people that have the ability to to leave their office at five o'clock and yeah. not worry about it till the next morning yeah it's a curse i think in a sense yeah. that you know because i i would be lost in a nine to five job but i just think um i quite often say that i think if i had a salary yeah um i would just i just couldn't do it because i just feel like that's no. capped that's the best yeah. you're gonna do ever yeah exactly. how hard yeah, you yeah, work yeah. or not yeah yeah that's what you're getting and yeah. I just, I can't, I'd rather do badly, but know that I, I would don't yeah. want to do badly, but you know, no, I know it's, what always, you mean. I know it's down what you mean. to my efforts. It's um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. But most people aren't like that. They just want to leave. Um, yeah. And yeah. again, they'll say, but I want to have, you know, some modicum of success more than I'm, yeah. Yeah. I've got. So how do I do it? Yeah. Well, yeah. unless you're yeah. already you take, the, take the leap, haven't you sometimes kind of like, but you've got to be that, you've got to have that mindset, I guess as well. Um, we're all different, aren't we? Yeah. We're yeah. Thank God, you know. Yeah. I'd hate. Yeah, yeah. I'd hate to live with me, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There'd be just fist fights all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, what's your, What's your brother like? Is he a similar character to you, or? No, we're very different, really. Yeah. Very different. Yeah. I do actually follow him on Instagram. I think when you announced that he was helping you out, which I, I sort of followed oh, him okay. just out of yeah, yeah. creepy. No, he's, he's, he's much younger than me, to be honest. There's, there's oh, like yeah. a seven year age gap. So. Oh, okay. And I've always been old for my years anyway, so the age gap is even more sort of exaggerated. Yeah. Uh, so no, we're we're very different. Yeah. We get no, I... we get we get on well, but um, yeah, no, we've we've almost got no no um, common interests really. No, no, no. other than you know, Apart football. From City. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't get involved because I'm not a football fan at all. So no, fair enough. this is where fair the interview enough. ends. And yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I was never, I was never good at it at school, and I think I've just held a resentment ever since then. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Um, I, I was interested to just ask, are you, are you much of a watch fan? I get the impression that you'd be the type of man who I'm not. I'm not to be honest. No, you're not? no, I'm not. No, I, I like the idea of it, but I'm not. I've never, never, never been into it really. No, I get. I, I do. I love them. I think I love the idea of the kind of mechanical side of it. Yeah, like yeah. I never spend a lot of money on them. Yeah. No, yeah, you know, people no. spending car money on watches, yeah. but yeah, um, I've got a sort of a 1970s tag, but it was like 400 quid, you know. Yeah, right. But it, okay. I, I'm not too precious about yeah. dinging it up. Yeah, yeah. But I just yeah. thought you might have been a man I who follow loads of watch pages and stuff on Instagram. I, I do like, really? I like, them, but I, I just don't know an awful lot about them. I couldn't tell you a good one from a bad one, really. No, I couldn't. No, I definitely couldn't. Uh, I just tell you what I like the look of and whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd love to be some kind of watch trader or something, but I think it's even harder yeah. than making money in cars. I, I think it probably is. Yeah, I think it is. And it's it, that's the thing that's the interesting thing about um, having started out from you know just selling. Well, you were just selling a car at a time or whatever, especially when you're in Spain. Is that right? Oh yeah, as a hobby, really. It, yeah. It, basically, all I would I was um, I was watching wheelie de- uh, uh, yeah wheelie dealers and the show mm. before that the Mike Brewer did. That's how this all started, really, because I'd really watch it thinking I could, I could do that. I could, you know, make that look mm. smart. And I was living in Spain at the time. I was only 17 at college. So then I bought a Corsa, uh, did a few jobs to it, smart deal, made some profit, and then you get a bit of a buzz for it, don't you? And then yeah, just kept doing that. So, but yeah, one at a time, basically. But that, would you say that was easier than making it a business like you've got now? Like it's, it's a whole different... Yeah. It's someone wants to different. sell a couple cars from the driveway... Yeah, and they're not going to pay their tax or, or whatever they're yeah. going to do. No, yeah, but you know, it's just it. You almost go through it. It's much harder as you try yeah. and then yeah. go up again. It's... There are some things that are much easier. Like for example, I you know you don't have to make up a story as to why you've got it, why you're selling it. It's you know that's yeah. quite. When I first started doing it properly with a forecourt, 
I, that was really liberating because mm. it's my business now. No one, you know, why have you got it? Why have you only had it two weeks? All that sort of. Did you did you stop getting that? Because I still get that. You know, how long yeah, have you had it? Right. Who was the previous yeah. owner? Like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so where um, did it come? It hasn't come from auction, has it? And it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I know. Yeah, some I people are unreasonable, though, aren't they? Or unrealistic, I think. Um, Just so, some of them. So, in yeah, some ways, yeah. there there are um, there are some benefits to that because, like I say, it, it did feel quite liberating because you don't have to you don't have to cover anything up or conceal anything anymore. It's that's your business. You sell cars, and mm. other the other big thing was like having a trade traders policy. So all of a mm. sudden, you don't have to panic about insuring every single specific car that I had. Yeah, it would just give me the freedom then to go out and buy whatever and know that I was covered. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, the two the two different the two very different things really. In in some days, in some ways, I really I much preferred doing it one one at a time because I knew everything about that particular car. Then I would you know replace a wing mirror that was broken and replace yeah. broken light lens and all that sort of stuff. I'd do it myself. Yeah, and I quite enjoyed tinkering with stuff, even though I'm really not a mechanic at all. I did mm. quite enjoy swapping a wing mirror over and changing a rear light and, you know, doing simple yeah, yeah. things like that. Yeah. That, no, I just I, don't have time for. No, I mean, I, to be honest, look back and think, um, I've at least always had one guy working with me. But back then, you yeah. know, we'd get a car in or maybe we'd go to auction and we might buy like six cars that day and bring them yeah. back. You clean them over. Bits need a bit of spray yeah. paint. The wheels need, you know, maybe the wheel trims need a changing or something. You yeah, do all these yeah. things. You made it clean, sent it off for its door, did a service. We had a ramp. Yeah. Yeah. And you were really hands-on with making it turn around. And I think back and sometimes yeah. I think it's probably making more money yeah, then no. than I yeah. am now. Yeah. Um, but I guess, you know, because we've got workshops now and it's about six people yeah. in, in my business. Yeah. And um, you know, that that saps your cash, as you'll know. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You've got yeah. really it's not just um so people think, oh, you've got loads of employees. It must be, it must be flying. And you think, yeah, but yeah. now I've got six people that I need to make sure they're getting the absolute exactly. best out of. Yeah, I know. And I it's know. tricky. You know, it's, it's, it's almost yeah. a harder job than it is just saying, I'm just, I, you it know, takes, you're going to work. It takes the fun out of it as well, then, doesn't it? It takes the fun out of it because you, you when you, when you've just got one or two at a time, you know that anything you make is yours. It's in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I sell a car now. It isn't mine, is it? It's, it's got to pay everybody else first. And then, yeah, you know, that's it. Left over. Yeah. The, the bank account's looking really healthy. And then all the direct debits and your yeah. trader bill and all those sorts of things yeah. come out. And you think, oh. I've, I've had that this week. My, I paid my VAT bill yesterday. And then all of a sudden, I just think I've given a car away to the to the VAT man again. And yeah. Start again. Yeah. It's what people don't understand the VAT either, do they? No, you know, no. it's, um, it's a bit of a killer. But yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Well, I appreciate it. I've taken. Yeah, no worries. An hour of your time, and you're yeah, you're a very nice busy man. Yeah, yeah, and nice you. No, I really appreciate you coming on. I'm absolutely uh, flattered, and um, I don't yeah. know when this will go out, but I'll try and chop it together. And uh, yeah, yeah, right, okay. Well, good soon. luck with the podcast. Thank good you very much. Yeah, yeah. no, Thanks. much appreciated, Matt. I really yeah. appreciate you coming on. No worries. So that was, of course, Matt Goodwin of High Peak Autos and High Peak Property. I'm sure the vast majority of you will have heard of Matt and is probably the reason that you're here. Um, but if not, definitely check out High Peak Autos and High Peak Property, um, both great YouTube channels. There's a reason he's had such great success. Um, and it was great to have a kind of open and free chat with Matt. Um, incredibly humble guy for how successful he's been. Really refreshing that he's not um, wanting to promote himself as a guru and blow his own trumpet really down to earth and I really enjoyed the conversation with him. He, it's interesting to find that you know we've got quite a lot of personality traits that are probably similar which I think I'm probably as we go on doing these podcasts talking to other car dealers especially car dealers who also do YouTube we are probably going to find that we probably do all share a very basic uh, personality trait you know the driven for some reason whether we're being dragged or driven um, but this kind of desire to want to do more and I, th I wonder if it's just something to do with the entrepreneurial spirit that kind of draws us to the car trade. It's something that seems like there's quite good markups. It doesn't always work out that way, but um, just interesting to find out, you know, how other people's minds work who have also been successful in this business. Um, I did have more questions that I wanted to ask Matt, but um, you know, perhaps we'll get around to it in the future. To be honest, I was I was feeling the nerves a little bit. I I think I quite often find myself. Uh, feeling the nerves around people that I kind of admire um, more than I would say like a celebrity or something, someone who's achieved something in a, an area where I would like to be successful. So um, you never know, this uh, this goes down well. 
um, maybe Matt will be willing to come on. So please make sure you hit the like button and um, we'll keep lots of content coming in the future. If you are watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on uh, iTunes or Spotify or wherever you are watching this, please make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Um, hopefully plenty more content coming like this in the future. I will try and keep them coming nice and regularly and um, make sure you hit the comments and tell me who should we have on the podcast next. Who do you think would make a good guest? And I will do my best to reach out to them and see if we can't get them on the podcast for a uh, kind of interesting conversation. So thank you again for watching. Please do make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see or speak to you next time.